Do you entrust your daily life and mission to the voice of our Shepherd, our Lord Jesus Christ? A blessed day, my dear brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. The Lord is our shepherd. We must follow his voice. We Christians believe that our Lord Jesus Christ is our shepherd and that we are his sheep, the flock under his care. In the face of daily challenges in our life and mission, we entrust our lives to him. We seek his guidance. When we have developed a personal relationship with him, we then know his voice and put complete trust in his word. As members of Corpus for Christ, we are constantly reminded to listen to God's messages and study His Word so that we will be guided in our decisions. One of our full-time missionaries, Nikki Cabaltera, can attest to how vital it is to listen to God's voice and trust in His Word. Nikki, from Zamboanga City, Philippines, started full-time mission work in 2008. She has served in the ministries of CFC Youth for Christ and Kids for Christ and is currently in the pastoral formation group of the Global Mission Center. Despite her passion for serving as a full-time missionary, Nikki went into a period of discerning and actively looking for another job where she could earn a salary enough for her to live a comfortable life and support the children of her sister who had passed away. Aside from her daily prayers, Nikki even consulted three spiritual directors. However, during this period of discernment, she sensed that she was still being called by the Lord to continue her full-time missionary work. In response to this call, she declined a job offer that she had been paying for. Nikki believes that this difficult decision found favor with God because he has never failed to provide her with blessings, opportunities to pursue further studies, provisions in her daily needs, and affirmation in her current mission in PFG. Through the guidance of her spiritual directors, Nikki learned that it is better to pursue spiritual virtues rather than material things. While acknowledging that the future is uncertain, she is nevertheless convinced that the Lord wants her to trust and be faithful to Him, and He will take care of her future. Our Gospel today reminds us that our Lord Jesus Christ Himself addresses us as His sheep, the flock under His care. He is the one who takes accountability for each one of us, who takes care of us and defends us from the enemy. However, we can only fully experience His guidance and protection as a shepherd if we submit ourselves to Him, if we surrender our lives to His care. In our daily life and mission, we go through different problems and challenges to our faith. Rather than discourage us, this instead reminds us of our need for guidance and direction. However, listening to His voice is another challenge for there are many voices around us that distract us and make it difficult at times to identify the voice of our Lord Jesus Christ. These voices include our family, our trusted persons or leaders, the media that we subscribe to every day, and many more. Even in our prayer times, there are moments when we cannot distinguish whether the message comes from our Lord Jesus Christ or from our personal desires. And so, we are reminded to grow in listening to His voice. How? By committing to spend regular and personal time with Him, by studying His Word, and allotting moments of silence 
to just listen to his voice. There may be times when it will be difficult to hear him because of our limitations and struggles, but persevering in regular spending time to listen to him would enable us to become more familiar with his voice and leading. Only then can we grow in trusting what we hear as coming from him. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, thank you for making me your own, for sending us your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to be our shepherd, to guide us and protect us every day. May you give us the grace to grow in listening to his voice and trusting his word, that we may not be astray, but only come closer to you in everything that we do. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless our families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.